Okay, hi everyone, James Tennant here. So I thought I'd just do a quick little video on uh, on using the replace tool inside of Vault. I had a few questions on how to use it and what it's used for and whatnot, so I thought I'd just do a little video on it. Uh, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just head into AutoCAD because we want to use this in the AutoCAD sort of functionality. That's just where the question came from. You can use the same thing in Inventor though if you're interested. So I'm just going to jump into AutoCAD uh, and you can see I've got a new drawing in here. So just so that everything's recognizable, I'm just going to add um, just one little piece of geometry on there and check it in. Prompts me to save it before I check in, which is understandable, uh, and we'll make sure that we save that into our workspace. Just using the test vault right now, so I'm going to save it inside the test vault uh, and just call it, um, well, we'll remember 13 is the first drawing. So we've checked that one into vault. Once that one's checked in, we'll make a new drawing. Really like those little new little tabs there, they're um, very helpful. And this time we'll do a rectangle and check that one in. We've got 14 this time. And we'll do one more. And this one is going to be the XREF. Um, so we don't we probably don't even need this one really, but actually yes we do, sorry. Uh, let's do that. And check in. Okay, so let's review what we've done here. We've got three drawings. The first drawing, this is going to be your main drawing. Uh, then we're going to XREF in drawing 14 into drawing 13. Then we're going to put it all in Vault and everything like that. So it's all in Vault now. But then we want to replace the XREF 14 with 15. So what I'm going to do now is just going to check out drawing 13. It'll ask me to update properties or whatnot. That's fine. Attach a new drawing file. So we're going to attach 14, as you can see from the screen. And that's going to then bring in that as an XREF, which is great. So we'll check that in. That all looks really good. We've got all of that in Vault now, which now means that, let's say that down the track, we realize that uh, we no longer want to XREF 14. We want to replace 14 with 15. So in some cases, it might be from a copy uh, or something along those lines. But let's just delve down a little bit further. Uh, we probably need to update the properties on those guys. And get to copy. All right. So we now have, as you can see, 13 has an XREF of 14. We actually want to replace 14 with 15 directly from Vault. So we don't want to detach it and then reattach it or anything like that inside AutoCAD. We just want to do it all from Vault. So what we do is we head over to the Uses tab in here. If you don't have your preview pane open, it's just that little button there. And I'm going to select on Drawing 14. I'm going to now head up to Edit, Replace. And you can now see that the path has come up. And it's actually telling you that, okay, here's the parent file. Here's the one you're about to replace. Hit Next. And it's now saying replace 14 with whatever file you want to replace it with. So I'm going to hit the browse button and you can see that there's the only option. Notice 14 doesn't even come up in the list because there's no point in replacing it with the same file. So 15's come up. We go OK and we click finish. And we can now see that 13 is now the parent or 15 is now XREFed into 13, which is great. Let's, uh, let's get a new copy of that. And let's go and open that one. So I actually might need to close a few of these down um, because they're all going to be out of date now. And let's go and open up a new copy. Let's just make sure that we've got all them. And go and open up that file from scratch. So hit open button. Designs and all the way down to 13, which is the one with the XREF in it. Yes, we need to update properties or whatever you want to do. But now you can see that in your XREF manager, you've now got 15 is XREF into 
13 rather than 14 like was before. So that's just a quick little video, nothing too uh, difficult about any of that. It's just kind of showing how you can use the replace tool uh, with Xrefs inside of Vault. So it's a uh, kind of nice little tool. Um, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.